Coming up on tonight's broadcast, has reality TV finally gone too far? A shocking new show puts cameras where God never intended. We uncover the culture of excess with the Judy Gates salary investigation and get ready for a cascade of dismay as we present the 2004 EML Awards. and four EML Awards. As we wind down into the Christmas season, full of the joys of rampant consumerism and road toll obsession, let's spare a moment for those less fortunate than ourselves. The 2004 EML Awards are the jewel in the awards ceremony calendar crown. Created less than a week ago, the awards are the culmination of extensive research, infighting and highly focused focus groups. The Fizzing at the Bunghole Award for flirting in prime time or daytime. First presented in 1997 when Janet McIntyre met Billy Ray Cyrus. So you are this very sensual, sex sexy person then? Well, if you, you know, off stage, I'm a very... The 2004 guy. nominees are Kim Hill and Ahmed Zowie. <laughs> Olives. 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 Lisa Manning and Nikki Watson. But I think what the thing is, is that because you are so beautiful, people forget what goes on behind, oh. behind this. Lisa Manning who, and John Rhys Davies. People skills, I beg to differ. Well, I, I'm flattered, ma'am. But you see, you only just... Susan Wood and Martin Henderson. And the winner is... Lisa Manning. Lisa's fizzing was so good, she's now actually going out with Gimli. Christian of the Year. The nominees are Brian Tamaki, Bishop Verko, Ben Lummis, the Unknown Christian. And the winner is. Tamaki made the most headlines, but the Unknown Christian had a ball as the Civil Union Bill became law. The Nick Einon Award for Most Desperate Celebrity. The nominees are Joe Cotton. Asia Rock, Alison Leonard, Nee Audrey. Two beautiful fur children who'll be sitting at home on the couch watching Mummy now. Hello, boys. Leslie Martin. Uh, I, I unashamedly use the media. And the winner is Leslie Martin. A tough feel, but killing your own mum and writing a screenplay about it shows true dedication. Best noddy or fake reaction shot in current affairs or sport slash comedy. Jacobina Plummer, One News. Been an unstable, unhappy feeling. Uh. Hugh Sunday, Tonight. John Hudson, Sunday. That guy, Sports Cafe. The competition seems a lot, a lot closer this year. Is that the case? Be interesting and the too. winner is... That guy, Sports Cafe. How important is this competition for, um, for the national selections, that kind of thing? It's really important to the players. It's probably... The Leighton Smith Trophy for scaremongering. The nominees are... Carjacked, Sunday. 15-year-old Les Mills was doing what hundreds of thousands of New Zealanders do every day. Brian Tamaki, Gates. New Zealand's going to change because... Don Brash, Ottawa. None of us was around at the time of the New Zealand Wars. New Zealand First, Gays. The coterie of homosexuals and lesbians who surround the Right Honourable Helen Clark. If you and the winner is... Carjacked, Sunday. It could happen to anyone, anywhere, anytime. Book of the Year. The nominees are Kevin Roberts, Love Marks, Mike Pero, More Than Mortgages, Murray Deeker, Just an Opinion, John Tummyheady, Black and White. And the winner is Kevin Roberts. The judges commended Roberts for his brilliant satire on Ad World Wankery. One said, Imagine if anyone really was this full of shit. Because of time constraints, a number of awards were presented at a ceremony earlier today. They include the following. 
most innovative use of scribe. Holmes, September 22. Russia's Igor Plotnikov winning the 100 meter backstroke with no arm. How many dudes you know go like this? How many dudes you know go like this? Not many, if any, not many, if any. How many dudes you know got skills to go and rock a show like this? Misfired joke of the year. Billy Connolly. The unrepentant Connolly had suggested Ken Bigley's Iraqi captors should get on with it. <laughs> Meanwhile, Connolly didn't seem to think any of it should be a topic for discussion. Don't you feel a bit of a parasite sometimes? Most inappropriate use of Graham Brazier, daytime. Good morning. Final episode. New Zealander of the year. Ahmed Zawi. The Hamish Mackay laughing at his own joke award. Hamish Mackay. Read him and weep him. <laughs> Best radio prank involving Stephen McIver from Sky. Stephen speaking. Stephen, it's Chris McDoubly, how are you? From uh, Prime Television, how are you? Oh, hey, how are you? Ian Stable, ZM, for tricking McIver into thinking he was being offered a top job at Prime TV. Uh, documentary show. It's in, it's in the, the, the 3 to 3.50 vicinity for the actual uh, position. What are we talking? Well, we're talking. We're talking. Is that, we're is talking that the numbers? We're talking. We're talking in the 300 to 350 ballpark. So um, I don't know how happy you are at Sky, but if you'd like to come and have a chat, we'll see you then. Mate, I'm willing to talk. Outstanding ego. To present the award, please welcome Rob Sitch. And the award for outstanding ego in a television presenter or program goes to. Oh yes, Paul Holmes for saying, "quote I saw my mana eroding." End quote. Congratulations. You're watching the 2004 EML Awards. The worst Eric Young film review. The nominees are Just in case The Station know, Agent. Doesn't like people very much, even those who don't try to run him down. Elephant. There's a certain danger, isn't there, in Team America World Police. Just so repetitive and it just got annoying in the end of the Starsky and Hutch in the 70s and the winner is elephant chilling cheers the sun times audacious vows the village voice crapola says tonight meanwhile back to the walkathon best sign off in a John Stewart news story the nominees are John Stewart John Stewart one news John Stewart John Stewart one news John Stewart. John Stewart, one news. John Stewart. John Stewart, one news. And the winner is John Stewart for John Stewart, one news. John Stewart, one news. Spookiest moment of 2004. The nominees are medium Jeanette Wilson's breakdown 2020. It's very emotional for me. It's like, why me? Why are you doing this to me? Celine Dion and Anne Giddies, Sunday. When my husband went um, through the procedures of having um, his sperm frozen. Oh, oh um, God. Scott Watson getting married on Sunday. It was a low-key, discreet ceremony. There were just enough is enough march. Destiny Church. We are here to uphold that and protect marriage and the family. And the winner is Scott Watson Wedding Sunday. The judges said the sequence with his new family on board the Blade is hard to top for sheer spookiness. What does Dad say to you about this boat? He said that he's going to take me on the boat all by himself. Question of the year. The nominees are... Hugh Sunday, Zowie. Finally, um, if it turns out that he is a terrorist, will you give a refund on the ticket price? Kim Hill, have you read it? Have you read it? I'm well aware of what's... Have you no, read no, of course the judgment? I, of course I have right. sat down and Now read let it. me just, reiterate. No, but, no, but please, Kim, do not... Susan Wood, boys. And I just wonder about you and the thing with young boys. Well, you know, is it because you kind of are... <laughs> Holmes, cockroaches. Lana in Fiji. Was Lana eating cockroaches? No. So that is incorrect that she was eating cockroaches. And the winner is... Holmes, cockroaches. cockroaches found in the bush. That's totally incorrect. Are you going to see her right? What is? Sadly, there are those who didn't make it through the year. We now present a tribute to those brave Kiwis who slipped away in 2004.